Hi, and welcome back to Lizard Studios. Today, you are going to be making some shadow puppets. Yes, like this right here. You're gonna be looking at the silhouette of something, and then you are going to be drawing it, or you're gonna be copying it also, okay? So I'm gonna show you different techniques to do that. We are also going to look at the original shadow puppets and see how they were before a long time ago in the first century when shadow puppetry began okay but to get everything going we need our materials on the table so let's do that for today's project you are going to need black cardboard paper okay it has to be cardboard paper because it's better than a normal paper okay it's, it holds up the actual figure a little bit stronger okay more stronger than uh, than white paper would do like a paper would do okay you're gonna need that you're gonna need some sticks as you see here i am using uh little sticks to put food in okay so just little sticks bamboo sticks that you could get anywhere okay at art stores or you could even do get them at the grocery shop okay so you just need those you're also going to need cello tape or white tape any tape is fine okay a pencil the crayon is for me to show you how i draw on the black paper okay scissors and you're also going to need white paper if you decide to print the silhouettes and i'm going to show you how to do that in a second but before we're going to talk about some of the beautiful shadow puppets from asia okay and if you see back here shadow puppets were not at the beginning black puppets okay they were not just like this no they were very intricate with lots of details and they could move their arms and they could move their bodies and they could move their legs they could actually move around okay and when they were put on a screen they could just kind of like walk around and they were used to tell stories to just tell stories to children tell stories to people older people also went to watch the stories and they were very famous storytellers also what i wanted to show you was that those puppets from so far um ago had also little holes and lots of little details and they put the holes like in this horse right here so you could see where the eyes were you could see where the hair was okay and they also made little holes in their clothes so you could see how their clothes was if it was with nice lace or it had little things that just hung out or the wind was blowing they also had hair some of them had hair so be behind the screen the white screen you could actually see the hair that's what I've done with this horse here. I spread out the little black pieces here, I cut through them, and I put this little hole here so you can see the actual horse, okay? Now, let's begin making some puppets, all right? These are the different ways of making puppets, all right, guys? The first way that you could get puppets, if you don't have a story, and you want that story to come to life and you want to do that story you could actually print it out okay i went to google okay i went to google and i actually looked for the princesses in um in disney and some stories you see and i kind of um well i printed this out and what you could do is just cut around it really 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 well all right first glue it onto a black paper because that's very important so what you do is you take your printed paper all right and you glue it to the black paper with glue stick okay all you have to do is get your glue stick and glue it on and then what you have, you have to do later is just cut around this so i'm gonna do it here just for a second so you see put the glue on Make sure you put it right behind the actual um, printed um, figures. For example, the castle here, you'll be able to see it behind the white paper because it's printed in black, okay? And now, like you have put the glue behind those figures, that's very important because when you cut, it will not come apart. What you do is you glue it onto the black paper. Like that, like that, 
when you cut you're gonna have the black figure on this side well you can use the other side too but it's fine okay you could be able to use any two sides now um, so all you have to do here is cut for example here well I like to cut out the piece so it won't be that difficult to cut out later on so this is what I do I cut out the piece and then I go you have to be very careful boys and girls with this because if you want the details to show like she's bending here and you want her details like her little fingers to show you're gonna have to be very careful there okay look I'm gonna put it like this so see you start making the silhouette of the princess okay I'm not gonna cut the rest of it out because you can do that I'm gonna show you how to do something else now for example you could use your iPad so you look for something for example stitch right here okay I love stitch so what you do is you make him the size that you need him to be okay that's a good size and you take a white piece of paper what you do is you put the paper right on top of your iPad and let me see if I have all my yes all my light on okay so you put your piece of paper right on top of the iPad and there you see the form so what you have to do is just copy this is a good way of copying a form and a good way of using your iPad boys and girls okay now boy wait it moved let me make him a little bit bigger there we go and his little feet okay so there i have the silhouette and what i do is i more or less know now you have to be careful with this because it might move okay so just be careful with it but you put your pencil down what you don't want to do is touch the ipad in different places because then it moves okay more or less like this then what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at it and you are going to fix your actual um, your actual form okay so here's like a, an arm like this he has his little arm like that and then here the legs come out and then you're gonna cut how you think you should be cutting okay and how you think stitch should be and if you want the eyes to be here you put the eyes and you cut them out too and then you have like a loose stitch form okay to cut out what do you do with a loose stitch form you put it on black paper you cut it out okay so I'm gonna show you how to do that so you understand how to do it so you take the form that you have cut out that you have drawn okay and you cut it out I'm gonna cut out here really quickly. Just watch me. Okay, so now what you do is you take your little form, okay, your stitch form, and you put it on top of a, you put glue stick on it and you glue it here. And then what you do is you cut around it like I did with the other one. See, you put lots of glue on it. You make sure that you have the definite shape that you want, okay? Okay? You glue it on your black paper, right there at the edge, so you don't waste the paper, all right? And now what you would do is you will cut this out around the white because now I have the correct form okay and this will make my shadow puppet a little bit stronger okay once you cut that out you could use it we could put the stick on it and use it I'm not gonna do this one but this is two ways that you could do it okay you print them out you print the form out the shadow uh, the shadow puppet form out and you glue it to black paper and then you cut or you could copy it out of your iPad all right being very careful um, one good thing that you could do here is take a picture okay and then use that picture so the iPad won't move it's here I'm using it from internet directly so that could make the iPad move okay but there's ways to do this all right guys now 
the next way to make shadow puppets is just by using your imagination. For example, in the Little Hungry Caterpillar story, if I was going to make that story, what I would do would be just to draw the different parts of the story, okay? So one of the parts of the story is when the actual butterfly comes out. Okay, the Little Hungry Caterpillar comes out as a butterfly. So what you do is you draw your butterfly, okay, like the silhouette of the butterfly. You see where you want some little holes to go, okay? I want them to go here, and then two eyes, and then make sure you make the antennas fat, okay? So you can see their antennas, all right? And maybe two little eyes, maybe, I don't know, I'm not quite sure, okay? So what I do is I cut out my pieces, you draw them and you cut them, all right? Okay, and now I am going to show you guys how to put on your sticks so you could use your shadow puppets. All right, let's see, very good. All right, so here I have two puppets and what I wanna do is I want to hold them, not like this, because I would have to have lots of space in my shadow puppet and then you would see my actual hand because if the light is here, you could see my hand. I want this to go like this, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, there's a trick to this, okay? And I'm gonna show you the trick right now. You're gonna take cello tape. Well, I'm gonna take this tape so you can see it better, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a long piece and you're gonna put just the point here so you won't um, hurt yourself. And also, you want to cover this very well, but you wanna leave this little piece at the end that you can move around, you see that? Okay, you see that? You wanna leave that piece there, all right? If you want a little bit more, just to make it a little bit stronger, okay? You just put a little bit more tape, you turn it around just like this, and that will be fine, okay? But you still have this little slab right there, like that, okay? That's where you're going to hold your puppet from, all right? So watch. You're gonna take your puppet, you're gonna put your piece of uh, your little slab, this one, right here, as you see, and then you're going to just tape it down. And what happens? Now, you could hold up your puppet just like this, okay? Ta -ta -ta -ta. You could put it close to the actual screen, once we make the screen, okay? So, there you go. If you want to put another little piece of cello tape on the other side, you could do that as well, so it will be stronger, just like this. Put it there, okay? And this one just fold in, just like that. And like that, it will be stronger, okay? You could hold it and put it really close to the screen, you see? Now the lines are not gonna show because what you're actually gonna see is the actual um, silhouette of the butterfly. All right, so let's do that again. So to make sure that you got it, okay? Now these puppets here, I put the, well these were my students' puppets, um, they put the loose stick down here because when we did the shadow puppet theater, I made a shadow puppet theater that they could walk into so they were all sitting in back of the actual light. I mean, the light was here and they could put their hand underneath and they could play. But the way that I'm gonna show you, this would be better because you're gonna have a light source here and then you're gonna put your actual puppet towards the screen. Okay, so let's make another one so you see how it is again. Like that, you could just hold up your puppet towards you. Now I could hold up my two puppets, okay? Okay, boys and girls, so we are done with this lesson. Now you know how to make shadow puppets, okay? What you need to do is pick a story, any story that you really like, and 
create those characters for your story. For example, here I have, ooh, look at this, I'm gonna show you. Here I have um, Snow White and the Seven Little Drawers. Look at this. So this is a story that my students made with the Seven Little Drawers, the princess, the, um, um, the prince, and the Wicked Witch, okay? So this is one of the stories. So now you need to pick a story. You need to make your characters. You need to put the little bamboo sticks, okay, on them just like this. And in the next lesson, I am going to show you how to make your screen so you could actually start playing with your puppets, okay? So I hope you have fun. I hope you finish all your little uh, puppets today. And like that, next time we could just make our screen and use them, okay? So I'll see you soon, guys. Be good, stay safe, and remember, a creative mind builds a better future. Bye-bye.